Welcome back to Christianity Witnesses Lesson 34. Today we have another lesson of series Christianity Witness. Time to share the word of God and time to obtain more hope in our work with Jesus Christ. I welcome you all in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and the name of God the Holy Spirit. Please receive the sermon well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. This sermon was inspired by God. Can you know this sermon was inspired by God through a topic in the Open Heavens devotional for teens, written by Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye and Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye. The topic specifically is practical holiness now the topic we're going to talk about now is time consciousness and integrity it's titled time consciousness and integrity i remember it's taken from matthew chapter 24 verse 42 matthew chapter 24 verse 42 and it says watch therefore for ye know not what are your lord doth come watch therefore for ye know not for ye know not what are your lord doth come that is Matthew chapter 24 verse 42 the Lord bless the reading and hear us word in the name of Jesus amen okay so previous in previous lessons we discussed the topic stop talking too much we, talk, we discussed the topic about stop talking too much and by God's grace and today we're going to be talking about two things that are very important that that you have to add to the quality to talk less now the first one is time consciousness and the next one is the second one is going to be integrity you see it's also interesting to know that people who are time conscious people who talk less and people who are men are people people who are women and women of integrity they they, they are people who tend who who uh, who tend to live holy you see i read this in the open heavens devotional for things as i already stated earlier now throughout this this series that i've been doing the idea of time managing your time using your time wisely it has come up quite a few times and so this is going to be more of a reminder if we must be true children of god we must be very time conscious you might have heard people say that time is life time is life. and time really is life because time waits for no man and we must have learn to have a strong hold on time but then to have a strong hold on time you see it is important is time lazy people are not time conscious sluggish who are not time conscious and these people usually end up in poverty as seen in proverbs chapter 13 verse 4 proverbs chapter 13 verse 4 therefore must be extremely time conscious must be extremely time conscious. it is one thing to be time conscious in your in your life as a person and it's also another thing to be time conscious towards the things of god and towards the second coming of our lord jesus christ what do i mean by time being time conscious towards the things of god now you are supposed to head to church you are expected to be prepared before early so that you don't get to church late if you are supposed to read your bible at particular that particular time you're expected to do all that you do and you're to do all that you need to do so that by time it's when when it is time to read the bible you are ready and prepared that's what i mean and also you can you have we have to be time conscious over the second coming of lord jesus christ what do i mean by this so you have to learn you have to learn to be watchful because our Bible text is even telling that we should be watchful because we do not know when Jesus Christ is may return. We don't know when he may come. Therefore, a time conscious person will always be holy. You see, it is one thing to be time conscious, but also we must be people of integrity. Apart from being time conscious, remember I said that we'll talk about the second characteristic, and that's a characteristic is integrity. Integrity. Now, a true child of God must stand by his or her word. You see, yes your yes must be your yes and your no must be your no if you're a true child of god we should know when to stand for god and for god alone if you're a child of god job job was a man of integrity who stood for god alone as in job chapter 1 verse 1 a man who eschewed evil the three hebrew boys cedric meshach and abednego were men of integrity even when it came to a matter of life and death you yeah, are seeing daniel chapter 3 verse 16 to 18 daniel chapter 3 verse 16 to 18 because you can even you can even see that they said they do not are not bothered if the Ghanaians were going to throw them into the fiery furnace as long as they were for God, they were okay. Hopefully, if you have been understanding and been following, you will notice that a person who talks less, a person who tends to sin less with his mouth or his her mouth, a person who is time conscious will be a person who is watchful, and the person who is watchful for the second, the second home of our Lord Jesus Christ will be a person who will live holy. And also a person who is a person a person who is a man or woman of integrity with a person that stands for God and for God alone. Therefore, you can notice that these three things, these three things help show are all characteristics of holiness. They're all characteristics of holiness. Now, um, if you haven't given your life to Jesus, I would kindly ask, I ask that you kindly do so. Let's say if you want to renew your relationship with Jesus and you can join me and repeat after me to say this, dear Lord. I thank you for your salvation. I thank you for being the savior. And I come to you to ask for your mercy. 
I ask that you please wash away my sins, cleanse me for, with your blood, and I promise to save you from now on and forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I gladly welcome you to your new path in life. May God strengthen you. And I pray by, by the grace of God, you continue in this new journey you have chosen in the name of Jesus. You can call these phone numbers on the screen for advice. If you will, first one is plus 234-8033-440631. Plus 234-8033-440631. The second number is plus 234-810-120-4546. Plus 234-810-120-4546. Four, six. We kindly know that these numbers are the numbers count for the church I attend. This corners for the counseling service that my ch church which I attend, the Redeemed Christian Church of God, provides. So those are the numbers for the counseling service. I believe that it will gladly help you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our key point, our key point, what's our key point? Our key point is a holy person is time conscious. A holy person is time conscious, quiet, and is a person of integrity. And only those who are holy will see the kingdom of God. Be holy. Be holy. Our he means stand up, stand up for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you are blessed by God's word in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I ask that you please pray for me. The broadcaster, my name is Greatness Rasa Kosi, and God bless you as you do so. Amen. The grace in fellowship with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the of the Holy Spirit. Bless and bright us all now forevermore. Amen. Surely the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For Jesus Christ, my name of great. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Can you like, subscribe? If you haven't, I would love you to be part of the family. Comment. If you gave your life to Jesus, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions on how I can improve these videos, can you leave them down in the comment section below? And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.